My girlfriend, 26F, defends her cheating friend. Now another friend. Makes me worried, 26M. Hello, since I don't have many people to talk to about this, I've asked a co-worker, 46F, one other co-worker, 44M, and two guy friends, 28M. I've been with my girlfriend since we were 18. Communication has been good for the last five years, and our sex life is decent. We've talked about our future together. We have a child, who is almost two years old, and we own a house 50 50th. We both have steady jobs and two cars. Back in 2015 or 2016, my girlfriend had a friend I didn't like because she often tried to pull my girlfriend to clubs, parties, and out drinking. This friend also showed flirty behavior and had a child around two to three years old. My girlfriend had known her since they were 12. I told my girlfriend that my tolerance for her going out drinking every weekend without me would eventually end the relationship. I accepted her going out sometimes but not every weekend without me. After that, she went out less frequently. One time, my girlfriend, her friend, and I were at a car festival in 2015-2016. Her friend was talking to a guy she had on Snapchat, she had changed his name to a female name, and her boyfriend was babysitting at home 300 miles away. She asked if she and my girlfriend could go and hop into another guy's BMW. I told her she could go, but I would just go home, 300 miles away. My girlfriend didn't go, but her friend did. The next morning, the friend came back to our tent, and apparently, they had sex. I asked the friend if she didn't have a boyfriend, I knew she did because I knew her boyfriend very well. She told me not to tell him. Since her boyfriend was my friend, I told my girlfriend that I was going to tell him. My girlfriend got mad, saying her friend wasn't happy in the relationship and had done this before without getting caught. I told her that if I knew someone cheated on me, I would want to be told. So, I told him. The girl admitted it, and he found the guy. The next thing I knew, the girl was mad at my girlfriend for me telling, and they didn't speak for two years. The guy thanked me and is now married and in a much better place. Next story, my girlfriend works with a girl who's 25. They've worked together since 2014 in a company with 250 to 300 employees. My girlfriend and this girl started working there while finishing school and now work full-time. The girl is nice, big, and obese, but nice. She is also a party girl when single but not as much when in a relationship, like she is now. She has a six-year-old boy and has been with her boyfriend for almost three years. About a month ago, my girlfriend told me a story about a guy at work who has a crush on her friend. He's been flirty with her, and her friend hoped he wouldn't sit at their table because it would be awkward. I asked why it would be awkward unless she liked him back. My girlfriend said her friend doesn't like him and would never like or have sex with him. Fast forward to today, my girlfriend asks if I remember that guy. I told her yes, and she said her friend and that guy have been spending time together outside of work. She might break up with her boyfriend because she likes the guy more. I asked my girlfriend why she told me this like it was normal. She said it's her friend's life, and she isn't going to tell her friend's boyfriend she's cheating. Then she mentioned she dreamed I accused her of cheating. This raised my concerns because this is the second time my girlfriend defends cheating. I just kept my mouth shut and said I wouldn't say anything either since I don't know the dudes. But this has me thinking, this is her fourth girlfriend who has cheated, and every time, my girlfriend has defended their actions somehow. The other two don't matter because she doesn't hang with them anymore. Their lives went downhill, and my girlfriend cut them off. Am I overthinking that my girlfriend could also cheat on me or has, and that's why she defends cheating so much? This raises my concerns, mostly because her work is mostly younger people, 30 years old or less, with tons of parties. She rarely goes, and if she does, I am not invited. She often spends time on her phone but doesn't really hide it. I often feel suspicious, especially when she's late after work. I work further away from our house and take about 25 minutes to get home, while she should take about 10 minutes. Often, she takes 45 minutes to an hour and if I call, she doesn't answer or tells me she's at the mall but doesn't bring anything home. My co-workers have told me I should be worried because birds of a feather flock together, so it's likely my girlfriend has cheated. Well, she has. She doesn't know I know. In 2015, when she and her friend went to Denmark, the guy I told his girlfriend cheated found out later. They met some Danish guys, and he had proof. His ex, my girlfriend's friend, told him but forgot he would also tell me. My girlfriend denies meeting Danish guys, but I have all the text proof from my friend between her and her friend, but I've never bothered about it. What does Reddit say? I am going to show her tomorrow the proof I knew she cheated in 2015. TLDR, my girlfriend defends her cheating friends all the time. I know she cheated on me in 2015 but she doesn't know I have proof. She denies meeting the guys, but the story is more about her defending her cheating friends. I told on one of her friends because I knew her boyfriend. Later, about a year, he showed me pictures and texts between his ex and my girlfriend about the Danish guys. 
they did have sex. Update. In this post, I talked about how I knew she cheated in 2015 to 2016 but never showed her the proof. I also had a gut feeling it would happen because she was with her cheater friend. Anyhow, Reddit told me to show her the proof because lately, I've been feeling the gut vibe. Also, her co-worker was technically cheating, and my girlfriend was defending it. So, I asked my girlfriend about the trip and slowly brought up the Danish guys. I could see she was changing her voice a little. I asked if she cheated on me there because I had a gut feeling and knew her friend was 100% a cheater. My girlfriend said no. I told her, what if I had proof that she did, she still said nothing happened. Then, I took out my phone, and she admitted she cheated on me and told me they had sex. She said this is the reason she hasn't gone without me to a foreign country and rarely goes downtown because she knew deep inside that I probably knew. She denied it because she thought I never had proof. I asked her if she had cheated on me recently, and she denied it again. I asked if I could see her phone. She hesitated, asking if I had proof. I said I just wanted to see if she would lie again. She handed me the phone. I went through everything, and everything seemed normal. There were a few talks with guys she knows and I'm cool with. But when I was going to open the workspace chat, an app her work uses, she took the phone and said it's personal for work only and that I'm not allowed to see it. She said it could be confidential. I told her she's a normal worker, and if there's something, just show me the chats I am allowed to see. She said it's all private and she could be fired for showing me. I pretended I had proof and took out my phone. She said nothing, and I told her it's best to split and sell the house 50 50ths. She got upset and asked why I stuck with her so long knowing what she did in 2015 2016 and why I didn't break up with her then. I told her I had a gut feeling for a long time but no proof. I told her that the day she decided to go with her friend was the day I knew something was going to happen. She started talking about trust issues, saying I should have trusted her back then. I told her I did, but my gut didn't, and my gut was right. I got the proof later, pretty late actually, and had stopped thinking about it because I wasn't sure my gut was right. I told her I didn't trust her friend because she had already shown she was a cheater. She asked me to trust her again. I told her no because she tried to lie and didn't want to show me the workplace chat. She asked me to trust her if she showed me but first wanted to go through it. I told her no because she could delete stuff. She got mad and upset but eventually let me look. There it all was. A few random, nothing special, but apparently, she is very close to three co-workers. A little flirty here and there, a couple of jokes about sex, and a a few jokes about being horny at work but nobody to have sex with, from one of the guys. Her response was, I know that often sucks, or something like that. She said this is nothing important. I told her she talks nicer to them than to me. She jokes about sex and being horny at work, and even says to them, thanks, handsome, thanks, cute. She doesn't do that to me. I found nothing about them meeting up or anything. But that was enough. We are splitting, and the house will be sold. So far, she has been nice the past two days because we still live together but are not together. Everything is better, but we are just finishing up parts of the house, and then it's going to be sold. TLDR, update of an older post. I showed proof I knew she cheated, and I also found out she has been very flirty with three co-workers and joking to her friend about having sex with two of them. That was enough for me. Her calling them handsome, cute, and good-looking made me extremely sad since she hasn't said that to me for a long, long time. She just started acting way different to me, like coming into the spare bedroom for sex, giving me massages, waking me up with a blowjob or sex, something I told her a long time ago I would be okay with. Thank you, Reddit.